Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the two brand new PlayStation 5 DualSense controllers. We have the Cosmic Red and Midnight Black controllers here. And we're gonna be unboxing these, taking a look at these, as well as comparing it against the original white PlayStation 5 DualSense controllers. So let's get into this. So first, let's start off with the Cosmic Red controller and by taking a look at the box. So of course, it shows the controller up front. The main difference with these controllers is just that the face plates here, this is red on this controller as well as the buttons, the D-pad over there, the share button, the start button, as well as uh, it looks like on like the grips of the controllers, that is different as well. That is colored red. On the back here, it shows us another view of the controller. As you can see, the whole side is red as well and it looks like it kind of loops around to the back. And then, uh, of course, it gives you a description of the controller right here. Heighten your senses. Discover a deeper, highly immersive gaming experience that brings the action to life in the palms of your hands. It features haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, a built-in microphone, and signature comfort. So those are all the same exact things on the original DualSense controller. The only difference with these new controllers is just the color. There is no real like hardware differences, there's no feature differences, it's legit just the color is the only different thing about these controllers. So that is that on the side. And then on the right it says compatible hardware is the PlayStation 5, although you can also use this on say a PC or as well as say like on your phone. So I guess the, uh, the controller number is CFIZCT1W, the DualSense Wireless Controller Cosmic Red and also comes with an instruction manual. So there's the box, there it is compared to the white DualSense controller. Like I said, only thing different about it is just the color. So like we have here with the buttons, we have red buttons on this one compared to white on this one, everything else. I mean, it's just whatever is on white on this controller is literally just swapped out for red on this one. That is just about it. And uh, I think what the real like good looking controller is, is the Midnight Black one. I think that's one that fans have been wanting to see ever since this one was announced. Everybody wanted to see a black controller. We're finally getting that. So let's go ahead and let's open up the DualSense wireless controller, the Cosmic Red one first. All right, so there's just one seal here at the top. If you cut that, then it just folds open like so. And inside you have another box which actually contains the controller. It just has another tab here and you lift up and there is the controller itself. The instruction manual is behind it, but I mean, it's a controller, it's pretty straightforward. Don't really need to look at the instructions for it. But what we want is the controller itself. So here we go. Here is the new Cosmic Red DualSense. Woo wee, there it is, dude. Look at that, wow, it already has like a little mark up there. What is that, that's weird. Huh, okay. And uh, it's a little bit more pink, a little bit more magenta than I would have thought. I thought it was going to be red, kind of like uh, Microsoft's Pulse Red controller for the, the new Xbox Series X and S. I thought it was going to be more like that. I mean, this is, yeah, more like magenta, a little bit more pinkish than I thought. Although they, they call it Cosmic Red. They don't call it, like, red. So I guess the name is fitting. I was just expecting something more red but uh still nonetheless really cool controller i do love the buttons on here how the inside is like pink dude that is awesome as well as on the d-pad over there that is really nice i do like that color combination now see i'm not exactly sure how i feel about the black here i think it might have honestly looked better if it would have been white and uh, I had that same feeling as well on the original controller as well. I feel like the original controller would have looked a lot better if the thumbsticks and the rest of the controller was just white. If it was just all white, I think it would have looked really slick. Even just maybe white with black thumbstick, I think that would have looked really nice. But uh, I mean, the black accent is kind of cool. I just wish they would have offered an all white controller. And uh, I kind of wonder what this controller would have looked like if the rest of this was white, if you had the white accenting the red here instead of the black. But nonetheless, you got your PlayStation button, you got like your speaker and uh, your microphone on there. That is where you can actually push for your mute button on your controller, as well as you have your three and a half millimeter headphone jack down there at the bottom. We do have these new thumbsticks with the DualSense that actually have grip on them. That is a very nice feature as well. On the other side, we have USB type C, which is amazing. I do love that both Microsoft and Sony have moved away from micro USB. That was such a horrendous connector 
This does not have any removable batteries, by the way. This is all just an internal battery, so no AA batteries, nothing like that. If you want to charge it, you just plug it in here with a USB-C cable, plug it in your PlayStation or anywhere you can get power, and you can charge the controller. These controllers do happen to last for quite a while, but uh, still I think the inclusion of a removable battery pack would have been nice as well just for that easy hot swappable ability that way if you know you're in the middle of a game you can just swap out batteries you don't gotta go hunt down a cable and plug it in plug it into your ps5 or anything like that i don't know i just like microsoft's approach to that a little bit more on the back here it gives us all the details about it um it is a 1500 milliamp hour battery that we have inside here and yeah so triggers really nice same thing with the bumpers as well and uh, I mentioned this in my original video of the DualSense controller. Here on the back, the grip is actually made up of the PlayStation buttons. So you have triangle, square, circle, and X. You have all of them. That's what makes up the grip. It's not just little dots. It's actually the PlayStation buttons, which is actually so cool. And I love that. Uh, looks down here at the bottom. See, I don't really like how it's flat here. I just, I think it would have been better if it was curved, just like with say the DualShock 4. But uh, yeah, it looks like the black accent just starts there, then goes up with the thumbsticks, and then back down around to this side, and then kind of goes up just right in here, right up to where the light bar actually is. So really interesting. I do like the controller. Like I said, it's a little bit more pink, a little bit more magenta than I would have thought but uh, still a really great controller nonetheless. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the Midnight Black controller. All right, and here we have it, the Midnight Black controller. Man, that looks good. Okay, dude, that is what we've been waiting for. That's the one right there. Yep, this, dude, say goodbye to the Cosmic Red controller, say goodbye to the white one. This is the controller, this is the one, this is where it's at. This is just like, you know, the DualShock 4, you know, the DualShock 3, all the previous ones, it just looks so much better in black. And this is what we've been requesting from Sony ever since they first revealed the PlayStation 5 is, you know, we saw the white controller and then there was uh, those memes. It's like, does it come in black, you know, from Batman? Because, uh, I mean, look at that. That just looks so much better than having the white here. Like I said, I think Sony would have done a lot better if on their white controller, if the bottom section was also white. I mean, it, it kind of looks good, the contrast, but I think an all black controller and an all white controller, honestly, are probably the best ways to go. So, like I said, same thing as the others. There's no other different features, still has all the same things, you know, the three and a half millimeter jack, USB type C, as well as the grip on the back with the PlayStation buttons. But uh, I mean, it's just the colors, the difference here. So we have like black face plates on here where it looks like we have like gray outlines for the actual buttons themselves. Same thing with the D-pad. The thumbsticks are exact same. Looks like the thumbsticks are the same on all three controllers as well. As well as, uh, I mean, this section of the controller is the exact same on all three. All three of them share that exact same thing. The only differences are these side pieces here, these side face plates and uh, the back of the controller. Those are the only thing that's actually changed with these other controllers. But uh, that is it. That is the Midnight Black Edition. And that's the one we've been waiting for. I mean, you kind of compare and contrast that against the white one. It just, ah, dude, it looks so much better than the white one. Like I said, Sony should have made the bottom section here white. And then you would have had a pure black controller and a pure white one. I think that would have looked so sweet. Maybe they'll still do it, you know, there's still hope. I'm sure this isn't Sony's last effort for making controllers. I'm sure we're gonna get lots of different other, different patterns and colors and stuff. This is just their very first wave of controllers. Microsoft has already put out quite a few for their uh, new generation of consoles, but uh, this is Sony's first batch of uh, controllers for this generation of these new DualSense controllers. So like I said, that is it compared to uh, the white one as well really cool and uh, I do like the contrast better but I, I gotta say the black just looks so much better having it all just one monotone color I prefer that so much so this is gonna be my new controller this is gonna be one I'm gonna use every day I'm gonna toss my white one back in its box and now uh, say goodbye to that one because this one this is the new king right here 
is the Midnight Black controller. So there we have it, our Midnight Black and Cosmic Red controllers. There you guys go. That is a really cool set. That is a really cool new wave of controllers. Like I said, the Midnight Black, that is my new personal favorite. The Cosmic Red, that's not bad either. I just, uh, I mean, it just nothing beats black. Just classic black, just all around. That's the way to do things. And uh, I'm kind of surprised it's actually taken Sony this long. I mean, the PlayStation 5 launched back in November, so it's been, what, like nine months since the PlayStation 5 has, uh, has released. And we are finally getting an all-black controller, even though we've been requesting it for about a year now. So, yeah, I mean, uh, there's still more controllers that uh, are on the way. But uh, this is the first batch of them, so I'm really excited. Love that Midnight Black, although the Cosmic Red is also pretty sweet as well. I'm sure that will grow with me uh, with time. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your guys' thoughts are on this in the comments down below. What do you guys think about these two net brand new controllers? If you guys want to purchase them on Amazon, I have an affiliate link down in the description. You guys can uh, check that out, and I'll get a small kickback from that. But those are the two brand new DualSense controllers for the PlayStation 5. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.